Okay, so first of all, I'll scroll down so we can see the bottom of this page. Then go to insert and insert page numbers. I'll put my page numbers at the bottom of the page. And we have lots of different options for how this can look. I will choose page one of one on the right hand side. And now we have page numbers. Now I don't want a page number on the title page, so I'll tick the box for different first page, and that makes the page number on the first page disappear, but all of the other page numbers are still there. I also want for this page number here to start from the number one instead of being page two. So I'll select this and then right click and go to format page numbers. And then I'll start the page numbering at zero and OK. So now the title page is page zero, which makes this page here page one. And then it counts upwards from here. At the moment, the page numbers are the same on the odd and even pages, but I can change this by ticking different odd and even pages. And now the page numbers on the odd pages are still there, but the ones on the even pages have disappeared. And I can add in page numbers for this separately. So I'll go to page number and bottom of page. And this time I'll select page one of one, but on the left hand side. And now I have page one on this side, and then page two on this side, and it alternates. So page three is on this side, and page four is on this side. Now I'm going to undo that, so I'll deselect odd and even pages and deselect different first page. And then go to page numbers and remove page numbers. Then I'll double click to get out of the footer. What I actually want is for the page numbers for the table of contents to be separate from the rest of the document. So I'll click in here in between the contents and the introduction. And I'll go to layout and breaks and then insert a section break. Then I'll go to home and show paragraph marks and we can see the section break here. And we're doing this because different sections can have different page numbers. So now I'll go back to insert and I'll insert page numbers. And this time I want plain numbers in the middle of the page. It's starting from zero because that is what I had previously and it's remembering it. So to change this, I need to select it and then right click and format page numbers. And I'll start at one and OK. And now the introduction starts from page one. And if I scroll back up, we can see that the table of contents has separate page numbers. Now I want the table of contents to have page numbers that are Roman numerals. So I'll select this and right click and go to format page numbers and I'll change the number format to Roman numerals. It will tell me that these have to start at one and I'll select OK and then start this at one and OK. And now I have the page numbers as Roman numerals. So I have I and then 2I and so on. Now I want the table of contents to start at 1 again, but I can't change the numbering system to start at 0 this time. So in order to do this, I will double click to get out of the footer and then click in here and we'll go to layout and insert another section break. Then I need to delete this line here. And now the table of contents is its own section, so the numbering starts at one again. Then the final step is to remove the number for the title page. So I'll double click to get back into the footer. However, I can't just delete this number here because if I do, it also removes the page numbers underneath. So I'll undo that. 
And what I need to do is click in here and then there's an option here called link to previous and I need to click on this to deselect it. And now the page numbers in the table of contents aren't linked to the previous section. So I can now go up here to the title page and delete this page number and this time the numbers underneath are still there. Now I'll double click to get out of the footer and I'll remove the paragraph marks and now I have everything set up the way that I want it. So the title page does not have a number and the table of contents has numbers starting from one and they are in Roman numerals. And if I keep scrolling down, then we'll see that the rest of the document starting with the introduction has page numbers starting from one and counting up from there. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use page numbers in Word and that is everything.